And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Well, it's suck and suck. I looked it up. That's what he says. Suck and suck. It is The Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Series XM 95. Over here in the New York studios, Big J. Okerson. Way over there, but still looking handsome as ever and very West Coast, maybe the best coast, Dan Soder. Oh, hey, bud. Hey, bud. What's going oh, on, hey, bud? bud? Well, you're I'm all just looking at the out. back you're... of a computer monitor. You're... I think you're looking at me, but they got me stashed away on the Skype. Like I'm, I like I have bug view right now. Jacob just has me looking at the back of a monitor. Really? <laughs> yeah, there it is. Someone decided to move it. Hey, oh, yeah. it was There's Jacob. Of... Jacob's our camera guy. <laughs> Jacob's like, just make him look at the ground. I'm gonna shame you. <laughs> Let's shame him. Shame him uh, in the angle. How's your trip going, buddy? It's it's good. I just did the Scalar Brothers podcast, uh, View from the Cheap Seats, which is a sports podcast, and they're huge Bonfire fans. Yeah. So so they were talking to him about how much they loved it because they were on the show when I wasn't there. Oh, that's right. They, they did a call in. Yeah, but they were like, "Oh my god!" They were saying it's their favorite show on Sirius, and they're like, "You know, oh, that's so sweet." So it was, good it dudes. Was nice. really I met those dude. guys later in my career than I. They were in L.A. guys already. It's funny those okay. people that you just kind of missed, you know. Like yeah, in the yeah. New York scene at all. Well, like Bill Burr moved to L.A. right as I got here. So I missed out on him. So I was always been a stranger to him. Oh, see, so yeah. Like, it's, I love like Nate when Nate comes back to New York. And he'll be like, I don't like these new guys. And then he hangs out with them. And he's like, oh, Tim Dillon's the best. Like, <laughs> yeah, he just wasn't here when you were around. Yeah, Tim Dillon is great. He is a, uh, a, a hilarious, hilarious human being. They, we, uh, we went... <laughs> to dinner with our friend Michelle the other day. Oh, that's going to dinner with Tim Dillon. He should do that as a Patreon. Thing. Well, the, yes, he should. But yeah, we always said it was like his cheat day, like uh, Tim Dillon's cheat day. You yeah. just do it with him no matter what. Yeah, he's, go, your, he's your cheat. He's your cheat Sherpa. Yeah. Let him, <laughs> yeah. Let him go hog wild. But oh, uh, we went out to eat at some like fancy schmanz place that our friend Michelle took us all to. And yeah. Michelle wanted to give speeches. Oh. She wanted to dole out speeches, which everyone was going to already be very Wait, Speeches with. for what? Just like why I invited all these friends to this dinner party. Oh, kind there's of nothing worse than someone taking a fun time and turning it seriously. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's That's exactly real what tough. what tried to do. It's she real. Tried. And that used to happen a lot with drinking, because you'd go from one point to like, yeah, like, I just want to say something. <laughs> I just want to say something. You guys have been fucking there through a lot. You know, no, 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 no. I know what I'm saying. Yes, I am drunk, but yeah, I know what I'm saying. And uh, so uh, I that think Christine dinner. just disappeared under uh, Black Lou's uh, fucking console. Uh, it's time to get my turkey on. Gobble gobble. <laughs> <laughs> block block chicken chicken. Block. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Ha, ha, chicken chicken ha, 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 ha. chicken head. Ha, ha, chicken chicken. Ha, ha. I need black dick to fill my huge mouth. Yeah. Oh, what the hell's that from? <laughs> oh, dude, I remember when she said that. I was like, Lou's gonna lock that one down. <laughs> it was you were saying it. She said that completely sarcastically, but I knew it was gonna sound real in a drop. Oh. But anyways, you were saying that uh, they were giving speeches at dinner. Yes, so Michelle was giving speeches at dinner about uh, how proud she was of and why she wanted to throw this little get together, and it was. Uh, and she gave mine. <laughs> she gave like she was like saying uh, she was congratulating me on getting on Conan, which is happening later this month. Yeah, um, I'm gonna be, when is that? So we can tell the campers. I'm taping. Do you have, it, do you have a date? I'm taping it September 27th. I believe they always air that night, right? Yeah. And what day are you taping? Wednesday. Sometimes if they. Okay, yeah, it should air on that day. That'll be awesome. Yeah. And you're doing so. fucking panel, dude. Yeah, I'm sitting down with him. That's so cool. That's incredible. Promoting the Bee Fire, buddy. Dude. Four days a week. Bee Fire, LOS, SDR. You got a lot of but shit. But the catch on. to me going, I mean, the going on, like the actual thing they have me coming on for is to pump up the bonfire four days a week. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, so that'd be like the thing that's, that he'll say. Can I have an alien head pin that you can put on your your sports coat? <laughs> totally. I'm yeah. going to try to find an alien head pin to, as, as a sign of symbolism that no, I'll I, be there with no, you. No, can I do a little signal to you? Can I do like a little... Yeah, like, Carol Burnett? Like, a, like an eye rub? Yeah, do a little kid eye rub. <laughs> oh, jeepers, am I really here? Oh, Or do a nipple flick. Just a quick oh. nipple flip as you're going to commercial. Just like point and flip your, flick your nipple. Well, anyway, she she was congratulating me on that and, and, and the bonfire itself and all these fun things going on. 
And then she goes, Tim, who's doing great, by the way. This yeah, is the thing. doing awesome. She goes, uh, Tim, she goes, uh, when Kevin Farley failed at, <laughs> at Ha the Musical, you came into my life. He's like, man, these credits really dialed back a bit, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's so goddamn funny. <laughs> he, he goes, he goes, and then we found out later that Michelle, the lunatic that she is, Michelle actually, uh, she called Tim to ask, what should I say about you in this speech? Dude, that is so great to prep she goes, a speech. She goes, so uh, what do I say about you? What do you got going on? <laughs> what she goes, all right, room. hey, how you doing? Like she introducing herself, how you doing? Like uh, like an MC does when you meet her for the first time. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Michelle? What do you want me to say about you? <laughs> uh, you want me to say that you, uh, you're you good at the bus tour? What do you want me to say? <laughs> um, re- Tim Dillon... Took uh, his uncle opened a restaurant in Denver, and he was there opening for me at Comedy Works. And me, uh, Tim, took the dish and I out to lunch. And my mom had one of the funniest lines after we left. She goes, "Tim orders so much food; it's so fun." Because <laughs> he just kept being like, "Oh, do you got to play the sausages? Send those out." My mom was like, "Okay." <laughs> like, all like, like, "Oh, I guess we're doing." This. She was drinking martinis at fucking one thirty. She's like, "Oh, this is good." Okay, let's have sausages. It's such like fun, mom and Tim being like, "How is your? Uh, how's the? How's the lasagna?" Like, oh, the the chicken palm is done with a honey. You got to try it. <laughs> oh, this is fun. He's supposed to take us out to some place for chicken parm. It's like, it comes like yeah, it's dude, a pizza. That's the place. Qu- quality Italian. Dude, it's the restaurant Quality Italian. Yeah. It's so good. That's what they, they opened one in Denver in the rich area. So he took us. It's, oh, really? That chicken that place? Parm, dude, that chicken parm is fucking awesome. Really? Oh, my God. I'm getting all geeked up. Probably because I'm hungry and I haven't ate all day, but I am geeked up about it right now. <laughs> it's- uh, it comes out like a pizza. So good. You know what? That would have been a perfect thing today. I decided when I was I was in my house listening to uh, DJ Khaled, Khalid. Oh, we the best, though. Yeah, but I want to do that. <laughs> he goes, man, that chicken parmesan is fucking great. All I do is win, 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 win. Yeah. <laughs> I, want oh, that, oh. I want that song to play so much on this show. Oh, do you have that song? Of course they have that song here. I do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, you know how great that would be? Where I go like this. <gasps> I just found a nug in my sock drawer. Oh, you right, got, Lou, you got to turn it off. Lou. Do it yeah, Lou, you got... Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll cue you. It's harder not being in the room. It's so great, though. Still, Because no Lou and I what. can't make eye contact. I love missing those steely blue eyes. I'll tell you what, dude. I jerked off this morning. Huge orgasm, but nothing came out. No fuss cleanup. Do it with <laughs> it's like ZZ Top. We'll catch the rhythm with it, buddy. I promise yeah. you. <laughs> oh, dude, got to LA, had to go real bad. Then I remembered, I packed my travel squatty potty. Oh, I can't get the right. I can't get the You're all off. I do part. Oh, really? Oh, why how's do we it, keep losing that part? I don't know. That's the way somebody edited it. Wait, hang on. Oh, really? Well, time for you to ass. fucking flip shit. Let's find it. Let's get it's to the bottom. In the, of the it's in the system like that. Yeah, but that doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't mean it's on the air. But it's in the system. What? What an idiot! Right. First off, you I got a better one now. To everyone that's listened. Yeah, because that was going to be so gonna great. Be, we're going to soar like wait, eagles. Try me. Lil, wait. Let us know when you get it back on. All right, I'm going to. Uh, Christine's going to help. Oh, really? Yeah. Christine figured it out. Christine be always figuring shit out. You know why? <laughs> <laughs> no what, that's best. how it starts? No, there's definitely all I do. All I do is win, win. <laughs> Jay! Jay! All I do is win. <laughs> oh, we yeah, get we gotta that. get that. We will get that to be... It'll be so nonstop and how much we will annoy guests with that. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, but where dude. am I going to be this weekend? Well, I'm going to be in... Of course, I'm going to be in Minneapolis, you know, because... We can't get that all I do. Get, yeah, when we get it, we'll get it. Lou, this is not a good commercial for your DJ. Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, guess what? I'm not a real up. DJ. Well, let's Don't bring up what happened. That. <laughs> what happened after the show, Lou? We got to tell people. I mean, it's big news. It's so great. Because uh, we're going to get back to DJ Khaled because we got to talk about the oh, seriousness. Yeah. 100%. Because we never really got to talk about it. We've been wanting to talk about it on the show for quite some time. Yeah, oh, the top, yes, for sure. But first, we gotta, we gotta cover Lou here. DJ Rathead.
DJ, DJ Dead, Dead Rat? Rat. What are we under calling him? Dead <laughs> Rat DJ or Rat Face. Excuse me, meter meter. <laughs> DJ, uh, DJ Dickhole. Oh, DJ Rat Butt. <laughs> Got a um, big old rat. No, butt. DJ Dead Rat. Uh, are we gonna, were we going to go with Coma Rat? We decided we were going to do a complete Coma parody. Rat. Coma Rat? Coma Rat! He a rat! He a rat, though! <laughs> Eating cheese, cheese, cheese. Getting that cheese. Get that cheese, cheese, cheese. Get that cheese! Um, DJ Dead Rat, Coma Rat, got an offer for, like, that they would fly him out, put him up, correct? Yeah. Yeah. To, to, to California. To, to California. Why am I delayed? Am I delayed on the air? No, I hear you, buddy. No. Right now. Yeah, no. you just said right one, now. One, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three. Four. Pick up. Wait. S- stick your finger up when I when I say it. Ready? Uh huh. One. Ah, oh, dude, it's so delayed. No. <laughs> yeah. Do it again. One. Dude, so delayed. No, dude, I'm fucking with you, dude. I'm doing. I can do it as late as I want. When you say one, you can say one. I can take a nap and I go. Did Dan just say one? <laughs> You're not delayed okay, wow. at all. Do it again. Do it for real. One. 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 Ah, uh, that's no, delayed because I can hear it in my headphones. Of, co- I'm saying it back to you. No, he like can't get his no. hand up fast enough. No, I'm telling you, I can hear myself repeat. That was me saying one again. This is not you repeating what I exactly so what I'm you're saying. Repeating exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I hate these older cousin games. <laughs> Why are you hitting yourself, Dan? Typewriter. DJ Lou, are you not going to take this gig? I'm not a performer. Get the fuck out of here. You're not going to take this gig. Not, you don't have to perform. The, the, the fucking helmet does the performing, man. <laughs> I know, but Lou. first of all, I can't DJ with that helmet on. And second of all, I can't How about DJ. Lou? It's a Lou. playlist. That's you're DJ Lou. Lou. Calm down, Lou. Take all that Jersey anger and all push right. it down. Everyone back away from their microphones. Everyone. They include you, Jay. Let me give you a little, little bit of... Hey, I'm trying to tell you something, bro. I know, but you're distorting. Okay. Sorry. Um, oh, because I'm repeating everything I say. <laughs> That's awesome. I could hear myself say just, everything I just said. Did you <laughs> throw them in a can? Or? Fucking nuts. Um, I didn't do that. Lou, you don't have to perform. Here's what we do. We make the helmet. You put together the playlist... Yeah. We put Jacob in the helmet. Mm-hmm. No one knows. <laughs> Fuck yeah. No, I don't like this. I want Lou out there. Shirtless Jacob in no. a Lou helmet? What I think now is Jacob, silk shirt wide open, but no shirt underneath. Big chain. Big chain, black pants, and he's dancing alongside the whole time that Lou plays. Ah, you're talking about he's a hype, rat He's pellet. the hype man. He's a rat pellet. Yeah, yeah. He's the hype guy, though. He does all hype. Oh, I kind of like this idea. It's fantastic, Lou. How easy would it put it together? Put it together, uh, together a set list. That's all they do, dude. All you do is put house music with Roman and Sierra over it. Get yeah, dude, DJ it with like our shit. <laughs> all right, yeah, I know. But what if the crowd doesn't know our shit? These three thousand people. What if they don't get our my stupid? Well, uh, I'll tell you bomb this: they're going to learn who DJ Watergate is, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, a fan. <laughs> You do DJ Watergate, you do a set of Roman and Sierra. I'll be honest, Lou. If, if, over if, the chain smokers? If every, dude, if, you'll fucking... If every hour you play that uh, win, win, win song, you're, the crowd will be happy. I promise you. People are dumb. If you What if is, you it show to, what is co- the DJ? What, what's, the, what's the event? Go ahead, Jacob. My manager. It's the uh, Newport. Newport Film Festival. Newport's nice. Newport, California? Newport Beach Newport Film Beach. Festival. Hold on. Nice I Newport right Beach here. Festival is even more fun, especially when all you do is... DJ <laughs> 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 Christine was a little late. We would love to book DJ Lou, a.k.a. DJ Dead Rat, for opening night at the Newport Beach Film Festival on April 26th, 2018. Dude, it's California Film Festival. What's Who's the most going to be there? A bunch of celebrities? They're not going to get my jokes, though. I mean, my buttons. What? They're not going to get my bombums. They're not going to get any of this. Bombums. Of course. It doesn't, ma- it doesn't matter. That's your shit. I know, but if they're not campers, they're, they're going to be like, uh, why does this guy think he's lit? It's lit. Because, <laughs> it's lit. because while you're playing those, you're going to be playing DJ Khaled songs. <laughs> All I do is win, 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 win. Do is win, win, win. Oh, oh there it is. Bombums. Bomb. Yeah. Woo! Have Jacob. Oh! Where's Jacob? See him. 
fucking faggot. <laughs> That's my uh, that's my logo. You want to hear it? Oh right, wait, do that again. Play that again. I love that. <laughs> Dead right. Do it, we, we, we. Oh! Oh! Don't tell me you don't DJ. <laughs> I know. I, I could do it in the room, but I'm gonna freeze up. Why? No, you're not. Not yeah, with Jacob Lou. on stage in the mask. All Lou, right. you Lou, you don't understand. You make the whole mix at home. Like then you just go, dude? you wear the helmet, you let the helmet do the work, man. <laughs> dude. Jacob goes and plugs you in. Jacob goes, he guys ready to party? He goes, this is side mouse. I'm, <laughs> he goes, I don't know if you, I don't know if you know me, <laughs> but if you know who I am and you love cheese, get your motherfucking hands in the air and maybe we can get him out of his hole. I think if everybody in the room chants cheese with me, we can cheese. make it happen. Cheese. 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 cheese, cheese, cheese. If you cheese, if you believe you can cheese, <laughs> DJ did that. Do it win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind. God damn, we gotta get that edit right, sir, because that song is gonna get. So annoying on this show because I'm gonna we're gonna fucking overplay the shit out. And of by it. the way, every time it goes, we have to let it go until they go uh, and and the hands go up and they stay there and it's, <laughs> it's got to go through the whole time. He goes, well, me. He goes, oh, well, my record uh, right now against the Cleveland Cavaliers in the Eastern Conference Finals is uh, I'm actually three and one. I'm getting ready to take the series, honestly. Because if I'm being honest. Ah. It doesn't. It, it, by the way, you feel like a real jag off when there's any amount of seconds between you saying it or not. Oh, it's so cool. Lonely it's moments. so cool if it hits. When it doesn't hit, I'm just staring at you. And I'm like, this would be so cool if it wasn't dead silence right now. It was gonna have a goddamn talk. I feel like this is Lou getting us back for this whole dead rat well, thing. Well, no, you don't understand. I'm, I'm using Christine, and now I'm going to use Black Lou. And I'm oh, all right. Why? What do you mean for your DJ gig? No, just for the all I do is win drop. Oh, okay. Uh, D oh, uh, DJ Black Lou's gonna fix it. Yep. Let's, let's see. <laughs> he knows what he's doing now. He's able to clip it right. All right let's set it up. I'm gonna get three thousand dollars for this gig. <laughs> All I, do is ah, I think I have it. I think it's on the six. We're gonna get this fucking thing working, dude. But when we do, man, it is gonna be obnoxious. <laughs> to oh, say the least. We're gonna lose so many fans. Yeah, and they and their hands go up, yep. and they stay there, yeah. and they stay there. <laughs> it's so it's such an obnoxious song. And they stay up. <laughs> this song's pretty old. How did you just discover? I, I mean, just have, love it. I want to have so many like uh, drops from like just smarmy, uh, aggressively confident rap lyrics. I want to. I'm all the way up, <laughs> just constantly ready to go. <laughs> I want to start bragging more is what I'm trying to say. I yeah, dude. To... I want to get my brag on, too. Uh, I th DJ Lou, before, I move, before our first break, we have 10 minutes before our first break for me to convince you to do this gig. Because then I got to talk. I watched the Biggie documentary yesterday. I'm ready to you get into it? a whole bunch of it. I, I, I liked it. What? I liked it. What was the love about it? I didn't, nothing new in there. Uh, Wait, I have several funny things about it, though. All right. We want to book <laughs> Lou. Just say yes to this gig. Three grand? I got to think about they it. They are aware you don't know how to DJ. I mean, in theory, I could do it, but... Of course you could. I mean, we'd all have to go for moral support, right? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't Come work a crowd without you guys? Dude, are you, I would... I oh, my God. I can't so watch DJ Deadrat. I can't watch DJ Dead Rat not on mushrooms. <laughs> oh, dude. Can me, Dan, I'd just be sitting there chewing my jaw down. <laughs> Dude, Dan, if me and you come out like, uh, like, like you know, the Professor Griffs or whatever, the, the the public enemy thing, or we just stand with our arms folded and just let Jacob be all the personality with the big chain. Oh, yeah, then I just lean Silk in shirt open. Real... I want him dressed like The Rock in 1997. <laughs> oh, dude, and then I'm, I'm going to just keep saying real mushroom shit in between <laughs> songs. I'm going to be like this. <sighs> Did you guys know, um, <laughs> air, um... <laughs> Air is filling us and leaving us at the same time. There's no corners in air. It's everywhere. It's every shape. It's every... It's all along. Do you guys know that we're pretty much just the same level as existence as frogs? 
Here's another song. We're all spores, man. Uh, I'd love to trip mushrooms during DJ Dead Rat set. Oh, and I'm telling you, and Jacob as as hype man. That'd yeah. be so great. Put Christine in a cage. <laughs> oh yeah. Get Christine dancing in a cage. Yeah, but then like or, since or Chris, we're, we're returning back Chris, to this, put Christine on a leash. Meth. I was so put, she just fucking pings around in that cage. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was saying, was like, put a leash around her neck and make Black Lou hold it, and just have Christine walk around oh, with like drinks on her back. Have, yeah, but have her barking at people like a Rottweiler in a DMX video. Oh, and, and, Lou, and Black Lou pulling her back. Maybe that. I was gonna say we could put her in a thong and have dudes drink uh, Moe Moet out of her butt crack <laughs> while, yeah, while she twerks. Yeah, while she twerks. Oh, dude. Oh, uh, it'd be rain and I champagne off Christine's booty because you know the bonfire. Get oh! Man, oh, man, I wish that was so much could louder. Imagine, <laughs> could you imagine the drone camera pulling away like they do in Sierra Roman's video? Yes. Just a bunch of crowd. <laughs> and they stay there. And they stay there. And they stay there. <laughs> oh, this, this summer the bonfire is getting lit with DJ Dead Rat. Dead Rat. You got, I'm not talking to Lou right now. I'm talking to Dead Rat. Are you in on this gig? Are you verbally committing right now on the air? Uh, if you guys come with me, of course. Yes, 1,000%. When is it? I can't say yes to that. April 26th to May 3rd. Oh, the Billions is done mid-March, buddy. I am locked in. April, what is it? April what? Opening night, April 26th. Yeah, it's not. It's for 3,000 people. April, tw- <laughs> April, what is it? 26th. I am currently uh, available. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'll be available. I'm going to be so popular by then. Lou, I say you say yes to this, and we go do, let's do like a week from L.A. or something. Bonfire. Dude. In April. Why would we not do that? The bonfire. We have to. Yeah, we have to do it. They're going to love us out there. You know why? <laughs> Fuck. Do it, we, 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 no matter what. Got money, two money. seconds. It's those two seconds that make so you lonely. not win at all. No <laughs> one's winning with those seconds in between. And they stay there. And they stay there. Bombums. Bombums. I mean, Roman and Sierra are the people that take these songs literally. And oh, my like, God. oh, yeah, absolutely. Dude. Like, I, like, what kind of dumb dumb listens to this and is like, I really, all I do is succeed. That's Lou, all I really do. Lou, you can play around with, like, Corey Feldman songs. I mean, like, you, it's yours. Oh, dude, you can do a mashup of Go For It with Go For It from Rocky Five. Holy God, that's a good idea. Thank you. Dude, I wouldn't mind being the fucking Mr. I wouldn't mind being the Wizard of Oz. Oh, yeah? You gonna do that? Dude, I'll help you put these mixes together. Are I mean, just... we got DJ Watergate. We'll do the Go For It, Go For It mashup. Sure, sure. Oh, Dan used to work with Skrillex, so you're in good hands yeah. now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> People don't know this. Yeah, you just gotta have, he originally those, wanted have those, to go uh, by those air horns. You have to have those drops. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, he shit. really... Originally, Skrillex wanted to go by his legal name. I took him aside. I said, no, you're going to go by Skrillex, and we're going to make millions. I want to hear Jacob go, Puerto Rico, ho, Puerto Rico, ho, where are my Pariquas? Where are my Pariquas? <laughs> Mexicanos in the house. <laughs> it's Jacob and Tara squad. Lean back. Oh, y'all didn't think this was about to happen. Somebody better get the body bags. It's a bonfire in this motherfucker. <laughs> Call me Burning Man because motherfuckers are about to die on the bonfire. <laughs> I'm way on board with all of this. All we do is win. Uh, I'll go. I'll go out. If, if, as long as it's LA, Jacob's you're LA? Yeah, you'd fly in. It's Orange County. It's the OC, bro. Yeah, if Lou will do it, I'll, I'll go. I'll, I'll go. Dude, if Lou, if, if, you if you're in, I'm in. If you guys are in, I'm in. You're the only one making money on this, Lou. I'll, I'll give you a cut. No, we don't even want it. I want you to go out there Hell and no. fucking kill it with that helmet on. <laughs> I want you to have to leave the bonfire because you're such a successful <laughs> DJ. I want. Uh, we'll find a way to get press coverage for this thing. Dude, you can, I'll hire our PR agent. I it's, don't give a yeah, fuck. Yeah, it's the... It's the uh, I'll blow my monthly fucking nut on on DJ Lou's career. I'll stage mom the shit out of DJ Lou. Yeah. Excuse me. 
<laughs> DJ Dead Rat. Uh, DJ Dead Rat. I'm telling you, we can make DJ Dead Rat a thing for sure. I think DJ Dead Rat, we need to get the name better. By We're the way, almost there on the name. Anybody out there in the internet world want to get make a viral video right now? Uh, get a picture of uh, one of Bill Cosby's intros of him dancing and do that fucking DJ Khaled song behind it. <laughs> oh, I do it. Win, 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 if, And if you want to make it a meme, all you got to put above it is after uh, when you get a mistrial. <laughs> Just right when you get when your when your case gets declared a mistrial. Hold on, we, 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 no oh, I would like to thank DJ Khaled. <laughs> I would like to thank the people. <laughs> like to thank the people. Oh, and those bitches go down. Let they stay there. And they stay there. And by win, I mean stay conscious <laughs> while they do not. <laughs> they were watching it on the screen right now, just Bill Cosby yeah, dancing. A perfect- just look up Bill Cosby dancing in general. Don't even do an intro. <laughs> just get a video of him dancing and play that song. Oh, my God, that is it. great. And their hands go up. And This is going to take off. Oh, shit, man. God damn, it's so funny. Yeah, the confidence. Well, let's take a break and come back because we got to get to this. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Dan. You're right. You're or do right. you want to watch the Subway Confrontation video? Oh, no, no. There's so much stuff. Buddy, that we're definitely watching the Subway Confrontation video because Jacob just described it to me and it sounds fantabulous. You watched what it already? What should we do when we come back? Did you watch it already? Me? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I, it's so funny because I'm looking at the camera. Uh-huh. I expect you to look forward when you're talking to me and you're looking at me on the TV. Yeah. And you go, did you watch it already? I'm like, why is he asking Lou? <laughs> and then I was like, is he talking to Christine? And then you're like, oh. I'm talking to you. I, so I can see oh. you. Up th- you're up there to me. Hi. 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 Hey. Hey. Hi. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Black Lou, you. Uh, Black Lou, you. We'll take our, uh, our, First break here, cross country edition of the bonfire. We'll be right back. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh yeah, We're busting it wide open today on the bonfire. Big J Okerson, Dan Soder. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM, 95. Uh, that special that I got at May, I'm just playing all songs that are just like talking about being the shit yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I got it made. Bonnie, brudu. Yeah, stretch it out. This is like webcam porn now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Welcome to Chat Roulette. You want to watch me beat? You want to watch me tug from Undercock? Oh, yeah. I want to watch my balls bang up. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you oh get knocked around like they're in a wind tunnel. <laughs> oh yeah, you want to watch my fucking <laughs> like their lottery number? You want to see my nuts oh, get knocked around like lottery numbers? Yeah. Oh, I was just gonna say that. You want to see my balls bounce like the lottery balls? <laughs> like bingo, <laughs> like bingo balls. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah? Oh, oh B six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh forty one. Sure? Oh yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yes, this is a. Uh, I'm picking. I'm picking all songs that are like about like just sucking your own dick. That's uh, yeah. interesting kind of music. Um, we're gonna get to the subject uh, later about the lyrics, but uh, we want to watch this video. I, Jacob's, so happy with it. I can't Jacob wait to watch it. Sent such a fired up email. Yeah, about this. Like, it's the greatest thing I've ever seen. Uh, it's two minutes it's, and 52 seconds. Am I looking at that? What I can only call it art. <laughs> it's on World Star Hip Hop. Uh, the greatest website. Pure pageantry. It is uh, on World Star Hip Hop here. So, uh, yeah, actually help us a little bit here, Jacob, because you this, this is your baby. Yeah, Jacob, please explain it, because the internet at the L.A. series I had to, stop him. I had to calm him down on the break. Fucking uh, garbage. Yeah. So please... Explain while I try to. Well, he was I mean, so was... jacked up in the commercial breakdown. He was so jacked up for this. 
So I'm excited. I tried to, I had to calm him down and talk about it on the air. There's a, it's on a subway car, a New York City subway car, and there's a large black man <laughs> getting into it with this, uh, trying to intimidate this. He was uh, picking on this old guy and this uh, bald white business guy, businessman in a suit. Uh, starts defending the old guy, and this is the argument that takes place. This is a homeless black dude. Can you uh, can you put the camera towards the screen because mm-hmm. uh, there you go. Thank you. Are they? Uh, is the black dude like homeless or old? No, he says he just got out of prison. That doesn't mean. Anything. Oh, well, I don't fun. know. I don't know his background. Morgan Freeman got out of prison. In, looks... uh, Shawshank Redemption. I'd I'd fight him on a subway. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be like this. Oh, I can't wait to take you out, Shawshank. (laughs) Now, Jason, Uh, a man um, gets to step on you on a subway. You get to fighting or you get busy dying. Do you understand that I can control birds? (laughs) Now. I am a god. (laughs) That old man is my best friend. Uh, No matter what, just because he's black, you're terrified already. Is what (laughs) you're saying, Jason. He was uh he was Well it's like when you start intimidating this guy he's he was apparently threatening to to kill this guy on the You're on the saying cuz he wears a do rag he's clearly a gang member. Yeah, I don't know. Most <laughs> Well, you know the whole yelling I just got out of prison thing is yeah, pretty Yeah, that and I'm going to kill him away that might be dangerous. He's a bad person almost entirely on the fact that he's black and then a little bit that he tells you he just got out of jail. <laughs> a little bit of on that. Okay. Jacob goes, "Listen, if a rain cloud's coming your way, you get an umbrella. <laughs> this white business man is his umbrella. All Ella. right, up. Ella. Black cloud, black cloud just clouded up my skies. <laughs> Later. Oh God! Here comes a tornado warning. <laughs> Did I describe this wrong? <laughs> no. Okay. No. Go ahead. I want to see this. Uh, this black. Oh, look, I'm always impressed when any uh, black person is being loud and aggressive. I'm always impressed with the first white person to step up. <laughs> always impressed. I'll tell you this, that. the audio is pretty pretty good. Oh, you're hearing it already? Yeah, the audio is pretty clear. I haven't turned it on yet. I know, I'm letting mine load, but I can hear it. And I'm like, now I know that I can see the video while I listen to your audio. Yeah. Nigga, now what you about to do? I now what you about shit. to do, nigga? I ain't doing shit but defending myself. Now what myself. you about to do, nigga? Now hang on, just so you know, the guy just you probably can't tell at home, the guy saying the N word is the black guy. For those of you who are just listening to this. For real quick, I was looking at my phone at a distance. I thought it was the white businessman. I'm like, I think he's uh, actively trying to get into a phone. If you if you if you if you switch those in your mind, you're like, Oh man, this white businessman needs to get his shit kicked. Uh just so no one's confused at home, the guy saying I'm just simply trying to defend myself is the bald white businessman. <laughs> So the following again from piece the contains gratuitous use of the N-word. And by N-word, I mean nigger. There, oh. I said it. Oh! Bob, it's you, nigger. Now what you about to do? I now what you shit. about to do, nigger? I ain't doing shit but defending myself. Now what myself. you about to do, nigger? Now you want to smack me in the face. I didn't touch you. Because you want to come over here. I'm trying to tell you that you so don't want to do, nigger. I'm going to stand right burn. here. Put that pause in for huh? a second. I'll tell you what, what What you're not seeing at home and you're hearing this is this would already be – I would definitely be in a physical something at this point. That grabbing the the pants and keep hiking your pants up thing is too much like herky-jerky movement. He's trying to goose himself up to fight. Do you know what I mean? That, you, yeah, you know, he's that getting real like, close in his oh, – here's my thing. Just when they're, when uh, they're doing – when you're in goosing themselves up to fight, I'm always like, I'll, I'm going to do something first because I'm not going to wait also, to block And let me something. tell you where I'm, where I'm coming from. He's getting super close to your face, and you want to be like to that businessman's face, and you're like, "Man, I drop a headbutt, I split this guy's nose like a fucking grape." Oh yeah, like if why I are you saying grapes? Because grapes are purple. Why no. grape? Why you use grapes? Grapes are green, dude. Huh? Grapes can be green. Grapes Is that the kind of grapes green. you eat? Man, you are white only, garbage. <laughs> yeah, I love green grapes. <laughs> I really love the them. Sours? Uh, All right. Uh, they're not sour. They're so good. Shut your hey, you know, whatever up. you got to tell yourself. I'm going to start hiking my pants and coming at you right now. Yo, yo, son, you come to me about green grapes? <laughs> oh, you want to know about green grapes? <laughs> what you know about green grapes? Yo, son. 
Um, go ahead and play this song. I'm going to stand right here. here. And left, and you just came over here and smacked me in the Did face. Did I smack, smack you up. in the face? Did anyone see me smack him in the face? You no. You I know. <laughs> like the, the busy the bodies uh, in the audience. He, he, he didn't, didn't smack, smack you. your face. I see him. He come over here. You try to kiss him. <laughs> There's also something that, like it's like he tried to, you like saying you smacked me in the face like he's trying to... Again, he's trying to get himself fired up for something that didn't ha- it didn't even happen. Yeah, he goes, that's very you funny. failed me. You failed me in seventh grade. Like, well, that's not possible. Yeah, I turned in that extra credit paper, and you funny. still failed me. It'd be funny if he was I like, don't... Jamal, I didn't fail you. All of us failed you in seventh grade. Yeah. We should have all been there. We all you. failed you, and this is why you are the way you are now. Yeah. He goes, nah, man. Nah, man. You said if I did that extra credit, I could get a 71%. <laughs> We all let you down that year, Jamal. That was going to be your big year. Your grades uh, went down. You were kicked off the team. And then here you are. Yeah, I'm not happy about what I had to do either. Okay? (laughs) I didn't want to take you off that field. I knew that was the one thing that was going to get you out of your situation. Did Sabrina have the baby? Um, Christine, play it some more. Smack you in the face. I'm standing on the subway like everybody else. You want to call the cops for you. I you think you should just sit down. Look for a place to sleep. This I don't give a fuck this about cops. I just came home. 25 to life. I killed my mom and dad, nigga. Are you Wait, what? That? Hold on, pause. You go. Well, that's where your anger comes from. Hi, Dan Soder, Subway Therapist. Uh, I'm catching a lot of negativity towards your home life. Did you always feel like you had to kill your mom and dad? Did <laughs> you start to live doing therapy? Wow. That's mm. that's a lot to process I, right I now. Cross I can understand why another, you're going through it right now. I have a notepad out. I'm just sitting on one of the corner seats. I go, okay. And how did that make you feel, you killing your mom and dad? I, I I respect what this guy is doing, this white dude, but I can't understand why this this uh, this black dude is not like in a chokehold or something already. But by, by I mean, like, just up. just try to end this. I know, but man. But my thing is, like, I bo- can't do this for so. I, this gives me anxiety. If I can play the defense of, if I can be uh, the black guy's coach, let me just say, you gave away the lie already. You could have just said you came home 25 to life, and you keep him guessing. What, did he really do 25? You go, I murdered No, I did life. <laughs> yeah, you go, I did a whole life sentence, and I got executed. He's and the subway. I rose from the grave. He's the subway ghost that teaches you how to, how to touch things. Goes, Get off my train. <laughs> <laughs> I killed my mother and my father. That's when they left out of that story in Ghosts. That guy killed his mother and father. That's so now I, they relegate like, me to these subways and I teach people who come down how to touch things. I gotta ride I gotta ride the M M line. It's local. Uh not excited <laughs> about that. Wish I got an express route. Um all right. Are you proud yeah, of that? I am. Okay, well, congratulations. I am. Good for you. Get rid of you oh, right now. Right, right now. now. In front of everybody. Are you now, proud of that? Congratulations. You murdered your parents. I hope you're happy. I'll tell you what just happened that is absolutely hilarious. Oh, uh, we is... took the bag off? Huh? Oh, no, never mind. I'm going to hit the video. Right? No, there's no bag yet. No, the, what made me laugh right there is the train, I think, is getting ready to stop or it turned or something. And the guy who's talking all this shit, the black dude, had to grab the bowl to not fall just a second ago. Oh, so he's like, I am boy. proud of it. I'm ready to do you right. Whoa. Get ready to do you right now. Yes. Oh, that turn on bleaker is rough. Oopsers. Yeah, I'll blow your face off right now. Does it make your I'll mess? blow your face off Does right it make now. Your mess? With my knowledge of 80s TV. I mean, that's exactly when you're supposed to hit him, and he's got a jacket around his elbows like that. You want to call the cops? You want to call the cops? I'll call the cops. Cops! Cops! I got a hundred witnesses here saying cops threatening this old man right here. Telling him that if he touches you, you're going to fuck him. Exactly. This is the subway. We all touch each other. He didn't try to do anything. You look good. You look good. Hold on, pause it. It's taking a positive turn. There's some compliments being thrown around. He said he looks good. Oh, and all, son, you got a nice shirt on. He goes, I want to know why he's standing there looking all kissable when I'm trying to just sit here on the train and get this old dick. You want to trade shirts before I go back to working over this old man dick? He goes, you are glamorous. <laughs> Why are you such a piece of elegance? You like a fine symphony. I'm about to kiss all over. You glowing like a pregnant bitch. 
Oh, oh, you are radiant. <laughs> you right. are absolutely radiant. Go back radiant. a little. Can I say something? You yours, are yours, stunning. Your cologne, breathtaking. I am hooked on your pheromones. Heart stolen. Yeah. Oh, no. I did 25 to life for murdering my parents, but you about to do 15 for theft of heart. <laughs> Shoe game on point. Oh, you coming in here with a shoulder bag looking all effable. Anyway, mind your business. I'm going to go F this old man. Okay, I'm going to try to kiss on this old guy. <laughs> touch you, you're going to fuck him. Exactly. This is the subway. We all touch each other. We all fuck each other. You didn't try to do anything. You look good. You look good. You look good. You look good. Yo, you fine, though. You fine than a motherfucker. I probably would have given him a sincere thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. He goes, he goes you, you're saying you're going to fuck an old man. So, pardon me? Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. No, it is new. It's new. <laughs> yeah. It's a new you try. look good. I usually Yo, don't wear I, colors. I, I'm not going to lie. Gym three days a week. Watch what you eat. You can do pretty good, too. <laughs> he goes, uh, you have two shakes a day and a reasonable dinner. <laughs> can I tell you this right now? I started eating before 9 p.m. The weight just dropped off by itself. I didn't even up my gym game. You know, my wife's busting my chops. She says, oh, it's always easier for men. But I think she just sneaks a lot of snacks when I'm not home. Yeah. Anyways, what do we, where do we get into this? <laughs> <laughs> you don't think I wouldn't like some snack wells? Of course I would, but I watch what I put in this body. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, $100, pa- 100 calorie pack of miniature uh, Chips Ahoy, but you know, I'm having three of those. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> We're all adults here. Anyway, we have fun here on the subway. We touch each other. It's, we all it's touch a big each family. other. It's a thing. It's Listen, fun. guys, Whatever. we're a big family. It's what so. <laughs> it's a- I'll fuck you right now, nigga. I don't like that. <laughs> you know, yeah, if he says that, I just start inching down my jeans. I go, I mean, right here, I've never been in the PDA, but loving you is wrong. You think you can? You think you can bust my back out before we get to Second Avenue? <laughs> Yo, I might fuck you, goes. Whatever's going to save that old man. <laughs> All right. I'm willing. Respect your elders. I mean, give a threat give me your a favor. Butt. All I'm saying is really grease the wheels first. <laughs> I need you to go spit heavy or else I'm going to tear open like, a fucking, <laughs> like, an, old, like an old piece of paper. <laughs> I like the idea of him, of them turning, facing the front of the train when there's, there's a stop, a sudden stop. Just go, oh! <laughs> oh, that's in there. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Pull back, pull back, pull back. I need, no, you're, you're on top of me. You've got to pull out. Well, I didn't even catch your name before we started butt fucking. I mean, we never properly introduced ourselves. Uh, Malcolm, can you please pull your penis out of my butthole? What we were doing yesterday he goes, oh no, this is good. He goes, you take the 34th and switch yeah. over to the J. He goes, there. Oh, no, 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 is that how this guy's trying to prove that he was in jail? 25 to life is because all the threats involve fucking the person? He doesn't know I'll trade you for a cup of noodles. You go, oh, you did. <laughs> you go, motherfucker, I'll beat the shit out of you and give you to the Asians for a box of Nilla wafers. It ain't goes, nothing to me. He goes, you, I'll, I'll fuck you to take away my TV time. I go, oh, you were on the inside. <laughs> that's what he, that's, he was on the inside. He just knows that's what happens in prison. So he just keeps threatening people with that. He Anybody want to get fucked fuck like prison? He goes, do you want to have sex in showers and be men about it? <laughs> do you want to eat not tasty foods and be pretty angry about that? You go, did you ever go to prison? He goes, I did, and I missed my family. <laughs> you just said you murdered them. Yes, but I missed my other family. Wrote letters to the rest of them. <laughs> he goes, ah, I'm sorry, I'm an actor, and I am deep in character. <laughs> Go play. I'm just telling you, you gonna do? that you're going to stop. Gonna do? Wait, gonna back stop. up a little bit because I do like when he goes, I'm going to fuck you. And he goes, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. I don't like you saying it. I'm going to ask you to stop saying it. By the way, that's the whitest way to stop anal rape. Yeah. I do not agree with you. Oh. And I would prefer if you. Yeah, I'm going to fuck your butt, son. He goes, oh, man, that ain't my thing. <laughs> oh, uh, you, you did? Know what? 
<laughs> uh, dude, if we could get a mashup of Roman responding to this guy on the subway. Hey, I got my. Oh, we could definitely do that. Oh, uh, <laughs> DJ, Yo, I just got a jail. I killed Monday. my mom and my dad. Oh, oh you did? <laughs> And is this the red? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is going to be great. Is this oh, the red? God, I can't wait. I can't wait for Monday. <laughs> you um, not say that to me anymore. You hear me? I'm what you going to do. I'll kiss him. What you going to do? I'm just telling you. What you going to do? That you're going to stop. What you going to do? You're going to stop. What you going to do? Are you trying to threaten him? <laughs> I'm telling you. Busybody Asians. <laughs> Are you Who's trying to threaten him? She goes, you sound like we need to set oh. up a death fight. You know she's eating some. She is eating some fucking stinky snack in a Ziploc bag, she's, and she's, she's bitching about all this. She's <laughs> eating something that you have to. You know, she's eating something that you have to crack before uh, you eat it. Yeah, or she's eating out of a bag with a fork. <laughs> what is in there? Is that shredded meat or do, vegetables? What is that? Know, if you do not live in New York City, you do not know how accurate that is of what Jay and I just said. Because I've seen oh. that. Way too many Bag times. of broiled fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you tetaning him? Are you tetaning yeah. him? Uh, you ain't fucking nobody with me standing right here. That's what's all happening. right. You ain't fucking nobody. You I might just... masturbate the fuck off, but you ain't fucking nobody. Wow, what a hold weird on. Can thing I just tell you real say? quick? <laughs> he just got <laughs> he just got real he just got real burrow on him too because he goes, you ain't gonna jack off. If I'm standing here, first off, I just want to say Pipe Fit is Union 321. <laughs> also, bro, I'm going to smash your fucking head like an old cantaloupe. No, do you hear what he's actually saying to him? He's saying, you're not going to fuck anybody on my watch. He goes, you might jerk yourself off. I'm not going to get involved in that, hullabaloo. He goes, that's a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing. <laughs> he goes, but fuck, you are not going to fuck an old man while I am on this train. <laughs> You don't fuck your elders in Canarsie. <laughs> you don't fuck your elders. <laughs> That's not how it works. I'm gay. I don't care if you're gay. You can be gay. Because I'm gay? Wait, what? Rewind he, that. Because that is well, you can, fucking he, hilarious he, that he goes, yo, man, I love dick, though. <laughs> That black guy just goes, He Yo, very man. quietly says, I'm gay. I'm gay. He's Dude, like, so all funny. these threats are coming from a weird place. And then you're, paying right back, you're paying back to me, Dan, the subway therapist, and I go, do you think that's why you killed your mom and dad? <laughs> <laughs> do you think it's because they didn't accept you? Dad did not. He goes, my father didn't like it. That old white man reminded me of my dad. And goes, I've always... Oh, my dad had a bald head. He got a bald head. You know, metaphorically, we all want to fuck our dads, you know? And uh, that's, you know, that's where I think my head, that's where I, that's the headspace I was in. That's where I'm at right now. Emotional. So, uh, anyway, can I kiss you on your neck? <laughs> <laughs> but but if, if you would like, I wouldn't mind grabbing a drink when this train stops. Because <laughs> my treat, no worry. Uh, I feel like you're open. I mean, we don't even have open. to do butt stuff. You just want to. Dry hump each other where we rub our wieners we'll together. I'm in all sorts. Together. I'm in all sorts of stuff. And look, even if you, even if you ain't, if we hang out and you find out that I'm not your thing, if the offer's still on the table, I'll, I'll jack off in front of you. Yeah. I, uh, by the way, <laughs> if it offends you, I will not finish. <laughs> I can show you. The I'll shot. have an inside. I won't come. fire it. <laughs> I'll keep it inside. Come. I'll have a phantom jizz. Don't worry about it. I'll blue ball myself and then go home and pop one off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, heavy comer, if that means anything to you. Uh, also, but I get it. But I get where you're coming from, and I don't want to make you. I don't want to put you in this position. <laughs> I don't want to put you in an awkward position. But I am gay. Anyway, uh, and then he just, and then the ball goes and starts kissing him. <laughs> yes. 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 I knew oh. it. I knew it. <laughs> they start punching each other in the chest like the gay stuff. <laughs> uh, what you going to do yeah. about it? What are you going to do about it? What, what are you going to do about it? I don't know. What are you going to do Step in, Are you trying to? Are you stepping in for that old man? Are you trying to steal me away from that old man? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, uh, if you can rewind it so we can hear him tell him he's gay. It's the lean in. I'm gay. Buddy, with me standing right here, that's what's happening. You ain't fucking nobody. You might masturbate the fuck off, but you ain't fucking nobody. You look great. I'm gay. You look great. Oh, that's so care. great, because the line is, you look pretty, I'm gay. You look pretty, I'm gay. 
That's because great. You're pretty. I should also to me the, the, to me the headliner of this tape so far is you might masturbate the fuck off. That's an option for you. You could always do that. <laughs> uh, you're not going to fuck a person. Uh, anything besides that, I guess, is in your hands. <laughs> oh, God damn, that's so funny. You're not going to jack the fuck off. Oh, he tells me he can jerk off. That, that's, what's, uh, that's what makes me laugh so hard. He's like, absolutely. Jerk off if you want, right here. But you are not going to fuck anybody here. So go ahead. He, he's gay. Perfect gay. You can be gay. Now, gangster. Good. Everybody knows you're gangster now. So why don't you sit the fuck down and shut the yeah. fuck up? Yeah. Whoa. So we can all enjoy oh, yeah, our ride right home. The guy realizes now, like he realizes this guy ain't shit. He realizes the black dude was all a talk game. So the white guy, so why is this coming out party now all of a sudden? <laughs> yeah. That goes for everybody in this motherfucker. That's right, motherfucker. I own this thing. I'm feeling. Now I'm feeling like my fuck. You're not gonna fuck nobody unless I fuck you. Ah, dude, that guy, his wife's chest goes, goes, he goes, yeah, he goes, I don't like when you say that. Stop saying that. He's like, he's like, I'm gonna fuck you. You wanna fight? You wanna fight? He's like. I'm, you're not gonna fuck anybody, and then the guy's like, "I'm gay." He's like, "You're not gonna fuck anybody." <laughs> yeah, you think you're gonna fuck somebody? You gotta go through me. You wanna fuck somebody in this motherfucker? <laughs> Call me the sheriff of fucking, because you ain't gonna do none of it. <laughs> he's really stretching. He's really stretching his legs now on it. What? <laughs> I, I, you can't be afraid to fight any guy who wears. I'm gonna stay here till you get so that these people are bothered by you. Coney Allen, all right. Coney Allen. I'm not disinterested. Most of the people are. Yeah, it turns real New York at the end. Where they're like, all right, you guys moving this? My stuff. It trails, uh, gets quiet, but he goes, "I'm gonna stay here until you get off." You, I'm going all the way to Coney Island. The black guy said (laughs) that. (laughs) It's so funny, and the guy goes, "I mean, I, I can't." He's like, "I can't hang in there on Coney Island." I'd love. I'm sorry. I got a, I got a North Island. I got a, I got a Long Island Railroad at eight fifteen. That I I mean, that's goddamn hilarious. He goes, "Well, the Coney Island goes. That's a little far out for me." I was thinking. I just more spit like, tech because it's just so awesome. And he goes, "I'm gonna stay here until you're off because you're not gonna fuck nobody." Go All right, guys, quick here. announcement: I'm jumping off on the Bedford stop. So anybody that does not want to get fucked by this black guy, I guess follow me off the get, follow me off the train. <laughs> if uh, call me Pied Piper, follow me off the train if you don't want to get fucked. Also, if you need to transfer to the G train, I'm getting off at Montrose. <laughs> so. Just you know, follow me, and we can go there. <laughs> let's uh, let's take a uh, second break here. What do you yeah. say, everybody? Sure. Dan, this sound good with you? Oh, I got to pee like a motherfucker. Oh, go pee like a motherfucker uh, out there. Oh, your West Coast pee is it different out there? Yeah, it flows different. <laughs> Does it flow differently out there? Uh, Every time you pee, Red Hot Chili Peppers plays. <laughs> Dan Soder, this weekend, going to be at the 208 Comedy Festival, Boise, Idaho. Woo-hoo! That is Friday, September And then 8th. Saturday, I'll be right at the Sala, the Comedy Sala. The Comedy Sala? Holy fucking shit, you fucking cock. Friday, uh, Boise, fucking Saturday, New York City. Get your tickets for all Dan shows, dansoder.com, and his new half-hour special is part of the stand-ups available right now on Netflix. Make sure you check that out. And if you are in Minneapolis, go check out Big J Thursday. That's tomorrow, tomorrow. through Saturday at House of Comedy in Minneapolis. Go to BigJComedy.com for tickets. And, of course, follow us at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that shit. We'll be right back. It's the Bonfire. And now, back to the Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Well, uh- all the up. way up. P.J. Okerson, Dan Soder, it is The Bonfire. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. Daniel. Hi. Um, 
I'm gonna take Nothing this. makes me appreciate us doing the show together. Yeah, like being in LA and doing the show. I know, I know. I, I mean, it's. I mean, stuff. we can we get it done and it's still fun. But there is like a it's a certain thing where you know when your tooth hurts and then you're just like, man, I never appreciated chewing on that side of my mouth till now. Oh, and I, I used to have a joke where I said before I go when you uh, when you're in a traffic jam and you have to go to the bathroom really bad, it you realize how little you appreciate. All the traffic jams you've been in where you didn't have, at least you didn't have to shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never sit in those and, and you like, go, you never go, it's like, well, at least I don't have to shit. Like, I'm fine. Like, I'm just sitting, like, just sucks sitting here. Commercial breaks, we usually just bullshit and sit around and, like, you know, we'll look at tweets together or whatever. Mm-hmm. But this, I'm just sitting alone in this room and there's this feedback coming out of speakers. I so know. it's like, am I, am I, are they trying to drive me slowly, mentally insane? Is yes. They- they are trying. They try to. They try to fucking wait you out in there. They just They're stick trying you, to Manchurian. They stick you man. in what I can only describe as a closet. It's completely a closet. And the and the the board op that was helping me, she just like came in. and She's like, all right, like like a single mom who's just trying to grab dick and care, couldn't care less about her kid. She goes, all right, you good? You got your snack? You got your TV? All right, I'll be back in six yeah, hours. Exactly. Yeah, it's like here's tea. Anything else? Can I go now? All right, here's stupid. Yeah. Bye. She goes, there's New York. Those are your dumb friends that actually care about this show. Um, I want to take uh, this one call here from Brian in San Diego. It says he called us to get advice for quitting, going sober uh, several months ago. He has an update for us. I'm Brian? <laughs> I'm like, no. oh. He's like, hey, he goes, all right, we're going He goes, I want to tell you right now, you guys are fucking pussies. <laughs> I never gave it up. Suck Booze my dick. Booze rules. Booze rules. Uh, I'm going to shoot you if I see you. I'm like, what? What's up, Brian? <laughs> Hey, how you guys doing, man? Crackle, crackle. Crackle, crackle. Crackle, crackle. Hey, uh, I called in. I just listened to it the other day, but I listen to you guys every day. But I called in maybe like a, like nine, ten months ago, and I wanted I talked to Dan, and he su- he suggested a uh, a book. Oh, uh, yeah, like Easy Glazer. Way to Quit Drinking by Alan and Carr. Exactly. And je- I, ne- okay, so I never got the that. book. Ne- okay. Never got the, <laughs> never got the never got the book. Uh, I was listening to you guys. And then um, I was like, man, i got to change this, blah, blah. Anyway, I did it. Kept going just every day hard with the vodka. Oh. And you're like, yeah, you're a booze bag if you're drinking vodka every single day. Yeah, vodka's blah, the blah. last stage in fucking I need some help territory. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So so anyway, man, just to update you guys, man, I didn't stop. I went. I, have been, I was in the hospital for the past, like, four months because I, I got crazy bad pancreatitis. Nuke, yeah, uh, that's fucking, man, you were going hard. Dude, it, it, it happens so fast. Like, like immediate. Like, they're like literally. You can never like ever drink for the rest of your life. But it's good, dude. Man, it was a wake up call. Man, I was in. I was in there for four months in the ICU. Bunch of surgery. Jesus, lost, like, Brian. Pounds. They say the doctor said you can't drink anymore the rest of your life. I can't ever, never for the rest of my life. The doctor said that. Did he say it was like? Almost. Was he like you can never drink in the rest of your life? And he goes, if you're a pussy. He he goes, that unless, you want, unless you want to be a fun hang. <laughs> he goes, you can never drink the rest of your life unless you ever want to get laid again. But it was whatever. It's up to you. It's your call. Totally. No, cool. Dry dick. Stay alive. Um, uh, damn, I'm sorry to hear that, man. That's terrible. It sucks, right? Like, I get, uh, I just went too hard for, like, a couple, like, five years, just, like, every day. All right, a handle of vodka. All right, every day, a handle vodka. Jesus. Five years. What kind like, of, well, can I ask you what kind of, because it's probably a crusty vodka. Was it Barton's? What was it? Pop-off? Um, when I had the money, because it was like, I would start off with like, you know, Belvedere and stuff. Yeah. Oh, all I do is win. (laughs) You go, well, before my pancreas pancreas shut down, you know, I mean, for the first couple months, all I was drinking was Grey Goose. All I do is win. Yeah. No matter what. And then you go, Uh, and then I ended up in the ICU, because I was drinking (laughs) Oh. (laughs) So exactly, it went from it went from that to the like the worst that like pop off Bar Burnett's or whatever. Yeah, dude, whatever you should you, you should have gone with some Crystal Palace Majorska. Ooh, oh. oh man, dude, I can't believe they got Crystal. Yeah, they have that out here. You like, know, guys, yeah, I, Crystal Palace is straight up. That's vodka that you use to clean silverware in a fancy restaurant. <laughs> guys, I still uh, drink because I don't have a problem with uh, alcohol. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got Oh, that's oh cool. living in moderation. Oh, J moderation. And they stay there. And they stay there. And they stay there. Oh, man. Anyway. Well, 
buddy, I'm sorry that happened. Well, you know what? That's it. Now, when you call us back next time, you will not have drank for as long as it, as many months as it has been. Hey, I'm. A, I'm. A, it's. It's. How crazy. long has it been? Last, um, 160 days sober. Come my birthday, October 5th. Awesome, man. How do you feel? 160. I feel great, man. But it, you know what's crazy? It's um. You guys, this is what you guys gave me. Uh, well, Jay gave me advice on last time because I'm in San Diego or whatever. Uh, he's he's like, dude, just. Just switch it up. This is what you need to do. You need to be an adult and like quit the booze and switch to coke, and then you'll just have a coke problem instead of a drinking problem. All I do is no. win, win, win. Yeah. 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 Ripping Hollywoods, ripping Hollywoods. <laughs> it's lit. <laughs> and they stay there. And they stay there. Oh god, that is the best job. Um, did you pick up coke? Oh okay. god. Yes, sir. I got them ready to go right in front. Yeah. I'm just kidding, everyone. God damn it, Brian. Yeah. No, I'm, kidding, I'm kidding. Allegedly. Allegedly. But anyway. But no, that's what you told me to switch it up to. And it's just funny because, you know. Yeah, I understand you know, needing advice. Maybe. Your football team was ripped away from you. Uh, yeah, exactly. And man. sent up north three hours where nobody wants to go to watch a football game. Oh, Jesus Christ. They already have a new team. Yeah, like, your team even matters anymore. Crazy oh, man, heart the attack. Charges. They left. I'm done. I'm done with them. San Diego. But yeah, man. Hey, thank you guys. I, I just wanted to give you guys an update, man. Because I was yeah. Sorry, you had day. to go all the way to the ICU to get out. But I know, know man. Hey, well, that's what it took. That's what it took for the wake up call, you know. And it's a lot of downtime down. listening to, listen to the bonfire. Yeah, exactly. That's all, dude. That's all I did, man. Listen to you guys, and just to get me through. Freaking just chilling, man. I couldn't do nothing except lay in the bed and go to surgeries for four months. Ah, oh, it so. sucks, dude. Well, thank dude, you guys, man. Feel I better, man, you. and we'll talk to you soon, Brian. Thanks for the call. Take care, man. Stay straight. Don't give in. That was a uh, a slight bummer. Hey, and, and dude, bigger, I don't know if I'm having dude. a heart attack or what. Ah, I get some fucking pain. You Come on, don't have, have a heart, heart attack on the air. <laughs> dude, if it, yeah, like Jerry Lawler. Is it right? Is it right up here? You Did can he have a heart attack this. on the is air, it? Jerry Lawler? Yeah, during Monday Night Raw. Ah, is like it a like genuine right one? Here? Yeah, it dude. Suggestion. Shh, hey, Christine, it's up by my shoulder. Why don't yeah, we just fine, chill but out? Serious, but burp. Burp. Make yourself no, burp. I, ah, it just fucking hurts. Make yourself burp. Guys, if I fucking die on Is that me, your heart beating through the microphone? Is, is that you? I go, guys, you guys, you, your vision's getting shut off, right? <laughs> goes, hey, is everybody else getting blurry or is that just me over here? Ah, I just had another minor heart attack. What does that make, Bob? That makes a bigger Make a dozen? Da, it, bears. It's currently hurting. It's going away now, now that we talked about it. That's weird. I get those, too. Wait, now it's back. It's almost It's almost gone. It's like... You just okay, threw, good. Hang on, let's hear what your heart's doing. Am I stroking? Are you having a stroke? <laughs> Let me smile. No, I said Smile. <laughs> No, but like, but, but like, like your cheeks where they go up. There we go. <laughs> I like my hard. Am I not having a stroke? Cheesy smile. Oh, I would do that every. Uh, I would do it every night and stand in the mirror with my arms up in the air to make sure my arms are reaching the same length. Are uh, you fucking weirdo? Anxiety ridden. Just go and smile and put my arms dude, up in the mirror. I do not want to have a heart attack. Huh? God. I don't want you to have one either. I mean, a minor one would be really funny on the show. No, dude. Dan, you're not gonna have a heart attack. Let me tell you why. All I do is win, yeah. win, win, no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get it. You can't have a heart attack with all that money on your mind. Damn, so Danny Duckets. And they stay there. And they stay there. And they stay there. Oh. A kickstart in your heart, bro. Hey, listen, let's take your mind off uh, anxiety and any kind of pain you're having with great news. Hurricane Irma de, uh, completely eradicated an island in the <laughs> in the Caribbean, what? right? Mm-hmm. Eradicated an island. Oh, you yeah, just dude. got rid of an island. It's the worst hurricane ever, they're saying. Uh, Jacob tells us it's because the oceans are too hot. I didn't know Jacob was also a meteorologist, a geologist. Jacob, I've been studying for quite some time <laughs> the acidification of the oceans. He's brought up the acidification of the ocean today. Uh, it wipes a tiny Caribbean island off the map, and it's made another island, I believe, completely uh, unlivable. The whole island. It's the size of Texas. There's now three hurricanes, and it's coming for you, Florida. So I will say this as a victim of a of a terrible hurricane 
uh, destroying all my shit is that get out. If they tell you to evacuate, get the fuck out. Jacob, tell your stupid Jewish family to not be cheap. It's only stuff. And then get the fuck out. I don't. I got a Jacob, guy. I, I got know, a guy that can blow up the windows. What about all of our jewelry? Are we going to fit them on the car? Are we going to put them in the coaches? Jacob. And then we know, we know the jewelry's there. And then we go get something to eat. The guy breaks in. And there's a Schwarzer comes in the car. Uh, and then we got to help Jacob, people now because everyone's fighting for, gas, for gasoline. Everyone knows that the ocean is the greatest thief in the world. <laughs> They'll take everything. I don't want them to take your pictures. <laughs> what about the ocean's what the about? greatest thief that's ever lived? <laughs> <laughs> the ocean will take everything. I don't feel comfortable with it. What are you doing? It's supposed to touch down in Florida when on Sunday? Yeah. And why Jeez. will your family not leave? No, they're leaving. My, my oh, well, you want, your, your parents are gone. Yes. But you're, uh, I mean... His parents uh, are already at his house in Astoria. I, we live here now. That would be great. My Jacob, why do, you, why do you live like this? I don't understand why you live like this. You're baking? There's no ladies here. Um, Jacob's related to Jackie Mason. Yeah. <laughs> That's my old Jewish impression. Always Jackie Mason. Jacob, I don't understand. You're here, you're here in New York. You have a big... You have a great job. You have no ladies here. You go there. You put your schmeck on the thing and you do... Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Um, yeah, dude, this thing is fucking terrible. Do you ever, you had probably had blizzard stuff growing up, Dan, like crazy blizzard yeah. shit? Yeah, I mean, and, and, and last time I checked, ain't no climate change, because I remember storms when I was a kid that were bad. Hi, I'm, I'm climate denier Dan. I believe in a lot of things, but I don't believe that the world is trying to kick us off. I'll tell you what, I, I don't like to believe that either, and I'll tell you... Uh, when I was young, I do remember in Philly growing up, and maybe I'm nuts, but I remember like 30 some inches of snow and it just being like a thing. Like, that's what happened. When it snowed, uh, like, yeah, when it snowed, it was bad. This is a little fucking different, though. No, These no, are no. hurricanes this just is three, slamming into. This is three hurricanes. Uh. Where'd you go? Uh, one of our callers is heading to Florida with supplies right now. I hope it's like flashlights and just shit. It's like, it's like <laughs> supplies, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> But they, um, like Hurricane Andrew in the 90s was, was like a big hurricane, but it hit like once every 10 years. We're getting hurricanes every year. We're Not getting every massive year. storm. Not every year. Every other year. No. Way too consistently. It's How been about a few. That? It's been a few since Sandy. Sandy was 2012. Yeah. Yeah, but there's, I mean, Jay, Sandy's not the only hurricanes. There's hurricanes every year. Well, they said that one that just fucked up, uh, Texas bad as hell. Yeah, Harvey, and then there comes Irma. With, they really are just a retirement center names. It is this season. Rosemary's it's this, it's this coming. Season, dude. It's this season. It'll be the Hurricane Sandy uh, has to be coming up in September, the anniversary of it. Dude, that was horrible. Yeah. So bad. You got, I mean, it depends on where you live and where they... I mean, this thing erratic... You just said it this might run up the coast. This might run up the coast to New York. It, we're not out of the water, right? Uh, no pun intended. Are they saying it might hit New York? Don't they don't know. I read an Anybody? article this morning that says they're trying to trace it. As of now, they, they thought it was going to go down the middle of Florida, but it could go up the East Coast. They said it could move. Yeah. This is no longer your home. It's time for you to cross over. Cross over. Cross over. Peace awaits you there. You think if we all like just really swing our arms the same way, we can uh, arc that bitch out of uh, Florida and send it right to Mexico? <laughs> you think it's being held in by that goddamn wall? <laughs> yeah. We want to hold in all of our weathers. All of our weather. It's our weather. <laughs> it's our weather, and it's huge. How's my uh, trumpet brush? Perfect. Pitch, perfect. Did I nail it? I felt like I nailed it. Oh! Um, I do it. oh! You know got money on my mind. I can Did anybody make a Bill Cosby dancing to this song yet? <laughs> I want to see it, it so bad. It will go viral if we make that happen. <laughs> Just Bill Cosby dancing, though, all I do is win. Lou, you say that song's very old. Like, I didn't realize it was in your arsenal. How can you say you can't be a DJ if you know the release date of that song? I'm a good. I'm not a good DJ. But you do Gee, DJ. Uh, I mean, you DJ bar mitzvahs and weddings and shit. I know, but without my partner, though, I mean, I can't go off on my own. What does your partner do? The, the DJing part of it. Wait, what? He It's his equipment. He's He spins. I just kind of help him set up. Get the gig, because I got a lot of friends. Get hammered and try to finger ants. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yes. Get loaded. Do my stupid dance. And, and then Tell I'm you out. what, Lou. That's like a bad plan, buddy. 
Nah, I, all right, I'm in. If, I, if you guys are in, I'm in. <laughs> all we do is Lou's win. like, what do I do at a party? I'll tell you what I do. All I do is win. Oh! oh! <laughs> what childhood? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, someone ended it all. <laughs> P. Wentz is known for dancing. <laughs> 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 That's, that's so it, because you know what that is, and this is what we wanted to get into. But that's Pete Wentz having too much confidence, mm-hmm. and then trying to be funny, and it not landing, and realizing you can't confidence your way out of not being funny. Yeah, no shit. You just gotta fucking eat it. Well, but music all comes from a place of that kind of confidence. Absolutely. You think all of it does? Co- music, absolutely. Yeah. You, you have all to comes- be confident to present. What is the mo- and by the way, it's vulnerable even at its most like sucking your own dick. Yeah, because like of what you're doing, it's like you have to sit and you have to mean it when you write this stuff. Do so you you're saying it? musicians are vulnerable. Just straight out talk the lyrics of a song and think of how where you'd have to be to sit and write that. Like, who doesn't think the song "Hurt" by Nine Inch Nails? Like is amazing, right? Makes everybody yeah, sad yeah. when you hear it. It does the I effect. Hurt, it's the right thing. I hurt. When he said, they, by the way, when we saw them at fucking uh, Panorama, <laughs> you remember? And everyone goes, Do you see that? I think he really cries every time he sings it. <laughs> like, yeah. First of all, he's way over it. Yeah, Second of like, all, I, yeah, I hurt myself today to see if I could really, see if but I that's could. That's what I'm it. saying. It's, it's just like, that. On the you had to write, you had to sit there and write a piece of paper. He goes, I hurt myself today. To see if I still feel <laughs> like it makes you feel okay, like a jerk cool. off saying it. Yeah, if you don't, yeah, I would write that down. And I'd be like, "Who the fuck are you?" To <laughs> yeah, it? exactly. I go. I, I focused on the pain. It's the only thing that's real. What? The closest thing was uh, black braggadocious comedy in the nineties. Uh, had a lot of that. Like, I got a big old dick, and I'd be eating pussy like Platt Owl. Like that was the uh, like that like, like that was that. the only equivalent to the, to the display of narcissism that music takes in comedy. <laughs> pussy like that. I mean, you have to, dude. Writing lyrics feels so fucking stupid. Uh, At some point, yeah. Axel Rose had to go bring you to your. There's not. I need more words here. How about if I go sha na 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 knees, please? And, yeah, to it, and, and, to, and, and and you have to go in the studio when you're doing it, you have to go, so I'm going to really ride, I'm going to say like, and then everyone else that's around you has to not go, what? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say, na 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 knees, please. He goes, na 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 like, please don't say that. That sounds really okay. stupid. Well, that was if the studio was filled with comics. You'd be like, you dork. What are you, just fucking repeating knees? Instead, they go like, oh, I'm feeling that. That is what they do, by the way. Yeah. That's what everybody okay. does in the room. They, they, they all get whacked and they go, they go, oh, I'm liking that a lot. That's really, it's so, hitting good. Let's run, can we run that back? Shit, and then, and then, and then, knees, and knees. And they're like, cool, oh, cool. Yeah, that was right. set up, bro. You're so good. This well, song's the best part's, be so great. <laughs> I remember seeing, remember P. Diddy's making the band? They showed that he double layers his tracks. So he's in the studio and he's like, and then I get it. Okay, let's do the next one. Because I'm coming for you. And you're like, dude, you just have to fucking <laughs> yell these dumb phrases so yeah, confidently. Yeah, yeah. New suit. <laughs> it's yeah. like weird. Out the box. Earth day. What, what? Yeah, comedy, <laughs> comedy, is, comedy is just completely opposite of that m- musician confidence. Where you're like, hey, you guys probably think this is stupid. And they laugh and you go, well, all right. You would just feel like it's just a different kind of soul bearing, I guess. Yeah. But it feels so silly. Well, the concept is so about congratulatory. Just sing, sing along, and you sing, and don't think about how stupid it sounds, to sing along with your favorite song. You, I mean, Lou, you love Pearl Jam. They have to have some lyrics that if you were like, like what is he doing? Agreed, yeah. I don't even know half of the lyrics. Like, but how do they just do it? Do you know what I mean? Like I'm gonna, hey guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna write a sad song about a boy killing himself in school. <laughs> he goes, I was watching the news. I think I'm gonna write a song about a boy murdering his classmates. You go, ah, uh, Eddie, you want to talk to somebody? <laughs> he goes, uh, Eddie, what's this part here where it says W H and there's 14 A's? Can't remember. He goes, he goes, oh, oh that's, a, that's a wow. I roll my wall. Um. Concrete. No. 
<laughs> Can. <laughs> yeah, look, I, I gotta walk. I gotta take that again for a walk again. Again, he goes. Well, what's? But we're gonna have extra two extra notes there. He goes. Nah, dude. I'm making again last four notes. He goes. You know me. I'm stretch and stay. I'm stretch and save better. Just gonna <laughs> send word. it. I'm still gonna send it. You guys silly. I'm still gonna send it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Music. Music lyrics. I. I just want you guys to bring up random lyrics and start reading them because they just never make. It never, you'd have to sit down. And I would be cringing the entire time. It's just really, oh, dark grin. He can't help when he's happy. He looks insane. I mean, like, it just seems like a weird thing to, like, I, my mind just doesn't work that way. Whatever that is that makes you do Please that. Please go to, like, a love song. Uh, go to R. Oh Kelly's uh, Bump God. and Grind. Because <laughs> he had to write that seriously. Let's figure a couple out. Uh, when we come back, Dan, have a couple you want to look up. And then I'll yeah. do the same thing, because um, I know we, we're not able to talk on the commercials. It hurts my soul every time. Sucks, and I don't like it. But uh, we'll take our last commercial break. I'll do one more live read, and then we'll take this bitch home. It's the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, that's that's Louie Louie sitting in the lap of luxury. This is Big J. Okerson. That's Dan Soder. This is The Bonfire. Comedy Central Radio, Series XM 95. Daniel, um, remember this song? I don't know if you saw this. At Black Italian WP put uh, music on Twitter. He put music to Bill Cosby dancing. The All I Do Is Win. Oh, did he really? Great. Is it fantastic? Yeah. Did he you, uh, this song us. playing right now, do you remember this song? Not at all. Really? Yeah, Louis Louis. This is our age right here, but this is the guy. This guy singing is the guy who played Madonna's boyfriend in the Borderline video. Oh, which well, I say is her hottest, fun. Her absolute hottest. Yeah, a little fun fact for you there. So we have Bill Cosby dancing to it. Can we play this? <laughs> How great is that? Dude, it is better than great. <laughs> oh, dude, that is so great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you, Black Italian MP, for that. Well done. Black Italian WP. Well WP. You get it. I'm dyslexic. Yeah. Army Brat Ray Ray WP. Um, that is... Oh, dude. Heather Esquire sending such funny song lyrics to start off with that really are so serious that you can't take it. Let me just read some of these. Sure. <sighs> Hold on, I gotta go to a. Uh, I gotta go to a real dark place. <laughs> I've uh, I've got a bad disease, but from my brain is where I bleed. Insanity, it seems, has got me by my soul to squeeze. Stupid fucking chili peps. <sighs> Sorry, that was just real tough for me to get out. Then you hear the song and you're like, "Oh, it's all fruited up." Yeah, do you know what my favorite part of that song is when he goes "Diga dog bong a gang a gong gong a hey a baga saga baga bong bong bay," which is what he says. Someone over 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 some bong day. It's the most. We talked that before, right? Have we ever talked about that before? I think it's just the most lazy thing. He one of his lines in that song, or several lines in that song, are just him doing that. Let me look up the full lyrics. It's it's pure gibberish. If there's words to it, it's a lie. Hold on, I'm looking it up right now. Full lyrics of Soul to Squeeze. Oh, the dude, it's this. Do 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 dingle zing a dong bone. Wait, do single? You single? It made me so happy. Hold on, let me read the lyrics again. Do 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 dingle zing a dong bone bada 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 zumba crunja kong gone bad. That's not what he says. Dude, play the song. <laughs> that point. Yeah, play it. Let's Dude. sing it along with that part. But I, I need to see those lyrics too. Do 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 dingle zing a dong bone. Do 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 dingle zing a bong dong with a thumb a thumb a gong gong gay. Some a grunge a kong gone bad. <laughs> <laughs> 
I can't wait to read this. Do 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 single single dong a bone bad at being a zoom but the crunker kong gong bad. Dude, if I had a joke where I'm like, yeah, man, dating is crazy. Just my girlfriend is. No, I know you guys heard a lot of jokes about this before, but uh, you ever notice when you're on an airplane, they got grill marks in the food? You ever wonder, zip a bop a bang a goom ba goom go ba da ba da ba hey boo ha? I mean, you, you, go, <laughs> you go through a breakup and someone's like, meet my friend, and you're all like, come a summer dog a zing a zing a zing a zing a zing a ta. No way. <laughs> I only got one way to handle that. That situation every time, buddy. Bing a bunga bang a bang a bo bo. If you, we have yeah, a part of the song. Very sweet. Oh, the roller coaster oh, boy. It's coming up. Yep. Take me to the river, let me show you. I'm a coming I'm back, baby. I'm a coming back. Come on. Here it is. Do 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 ding. We'll sing a dong bong. But they ain't a double 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 bong bong band. I mean, I mean, somebody, he strokes out. Somebody fucking definitely. They, they, they put it down. Like, they wrote what they he go, said. Uh, but... Anthony, I'm sorry. we got to play that back. What did you just say? If they... He goes, I if... said, listen to the fucking song, dude. I said, do, 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 dingle, zinga, <laughs> dong, bone, bitter, bada, zumbu, crunger, gong, combat. I mean, how many times you got to hear it, right fuck face? <laughs> how do you open your fucking ears? <laughs> And then it goes back to being serious. This song was written for the Coneheads movie. (laughs) (laughs) Can I tell you, it's possibly my favorite Hot Chili Pepper song. Really? Yeah, I love this song. No, they got better songs than this. They don't even have very good songs. Well, that's what I'm saying. This is my favorite one of their songs. (laughs) Um, Now that I know it's... What are some other bad lyrics you got there on the old Twitsphere? Do, 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 do. Bang oh, where's Bump and Grind? Well, we had do we have Bump and Grind up? We had those up. We had it up. They're always going to be... It's like, oh my God, the sit and put pen to paper some of the stuff. Um, also, when they're when they're in the studio, you said like waiting to do like the layovers of the songs. You know what I mean? When, when uh, he has to go like, to the studio one day, R. Kelly, and just listen to his own music and, and once in a while just go, Girl! Because you know what I'm talking about! You know, you go, and I want to give it to you. <laughs> my mind. Why is it always such a threat sounding? My mind is telling me no. My body, my body's telling me yes. Baby, I don't want to hurt nobody, but there's something that I must confess. There's already this threat of like, that's what I was always hilarious when Metzger would show us when he'd be in like some kind of a weird like uh, Twitter war with somebody. Yeah. He's like, you could see I invite the person to come on to my to my podcast and I'm not trying to like be a, a problem I'd like to have like an actual adult conversation with them and you're like well that seems like a reasonable thing Kurt why are they and they're just being shitty to you for no reason he's like yeah can you believe it and then you'd read the tweets back and forth and it'd be a Kurt's like uh he's like come do my podcast then you'll be safe nobody will hurt you here it's like what Kurt I mean like why would you inform someone that doing your podcast is going to be like, it sounds, if you keep informing them it's going to be safe it sounds like it's not safe he goes you're not going to have your skull smashed in so just hey, look, come on the podcast no one's gotten murdered in studio in like a decade so the odds are against a good you firm beat though I can't speak goes, on that he goes you have a better chance of getting struck by lightning <laughs> The problem with the slow drawn R and B as I'm reading this, it's like uh it's just too it's like uh I just see I just But you're talking about braggadocious. These are and I won't tell you the song, but these are some of the lyrics from a very sexy song from the nineties. Bump and grind. No no no. That's what I'm reading. That's what I'm reading. I'm reading a different song, and when you read some of these lyrics you're like, it's so cocky. I like you reading them and see if I want to I like you reading them see if I know what they are. All right, ready? Mm Mm-hmm. And I'm going to change up the the tone so you can't guess the song. Mm-hmm. Can you just, body roll? Just hit some body rolls while you do it, though. Oh, this is the perfect song to body roll too. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just sitting here flossing, flipping <laughs> your stilo. Just once, if I had the chance, the things I'd do to you, you and your body, every single portion, it sends chills up and down your spine. Dude, this is genuine. Juice is flowing down your thigh. <laughs> yeah, only genuine could sing that. If I sang those, the song lyrical, is called My Pony. Yeah. By the way, the best premise of a music video ever, where Genuine goes into a hick uh, white trash bar and then sexy dances them into not being racist anymore. Is that what happens? 
Here, watch the video. Let's watch the video. That's my pony? Yeah, dude. Bring by, up genuine. By, by the way, isn't the, isn't the chorus actually the words it said, yo, yo, honey? <laughs> like, you're yeah. horny? Yo, yo honey. honey. Let's do it. It's if you're horny, let's do it. Ride it. Ride my, my Well, pony, you know, it's, my it's, it's weird. That's a weird question. To ask. Like, that's usually something that dudes or girls tell each other, like friends. It's weird yeah. to go to anyone at all and be like, hey, uh, I know it's, <laughs> I, know, I, I know we've just been hanging at this bar for a while, but are you horny? <laughs> are you Let's horny? Ask a girl if she's it? horny. Goes, my saddle. Are you horny? Do you want to ride waiting. it? <laughs> it's waiting. My saddle's waiting. Jump on it. Jump on it. By saddle, do you mean dick? I do. I do mean yes. dick. <laughs> oh, apparently you're not a fan of innuendos. So in the Genuine Pony video, I don't know if you pulled up. We have it. They pull up. In a bus. They pull Their tour bus pulls up. A big, scary security guy gets off. Genuine would be so lucky if he had a tour bus for even one tour. Also, it really looks, the side of it looks like a Greyhound. So you're like, hey, you're <laughs> yeah. I know, right, I know, my, fucking, my stuff is still underneath with everybody else's. You go, I gotta wait. No, I'd love to go check into the hotel, but I gotta wait for the bus to clear <laughs> out. I dropped my phone. So they're all disgusted. Oh, yeah. You're right. It they is walk into this bar, and it's like a scary biker bar with all these scary looking fucking. Yeah, did you notice, White trash did you notice that one of the bikers actually took the bus in with them? Yeah, which is weird. He goes, let me show you guys my friend's house. I was going to say, he's the driver of the bus. He's like, he's like, yeah, he goes, I oh, know, great bar. You guys will love it. He goes, you should come sexy dance. <laughs> hey, you should come sexy dance with these guys. These guys will love it. Uh, uh, thank God they have See, enforcers. Yeah, but look, yeah, he, you, there's no way you dance like this at a bar like this unless you have security. Also, he's just singing to a bar full of studly, like, scary men that he wants to Scary, fuck tattooed white guys with uh, shaved heads and beards. I know it's what he goes. He and goes, he's singing to their women. He goes, That's hey, so dangerous. You guys mind if I say, oh, sexy dance in the bar real quick? Yeah, whatever you say, G. Whatever you want, genuine. Yeah. He goes, I, I ain't gonna lie, I'm about to split your head. <laughs> He goes, hey, anybody mind if I run the, uh, run the jukebox for a minute? Cool, thanks. But see, look, he sexy dances his way into all of them being like, you want to fuck my girl? I really? fucking dig this guy. I'm still at the point where now I'm, they're, just re they're really opening up their hearts to even having blacks in their bar at all. <laughs> yeah, by the way, there's all these empty cowboy boots above the bar, and then Genuine's is there giving a sexy dance behind him. Yeah. But I'll tell you what. Is he showing them? Is he showing them that being sexy is better than being rural and tough? Maybe, but I'll tell you what's pretty cool. Oh, that, that black woman. You know what it is? It's just saying this country western bar just needed black people. Is all it's saying. Yeah. And uh, by the way, there's no way that that black guy when he walks up to the bar that they go, "Sorry, we're all out of everything." <laughs> <laughs> like they don't give them a real racist response, so they can't get nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, we don't got no juice liquor. Get the fuck out of here. He's so. It was so funny at uh, the 90s when like the super skinny black guy thing was popping. It's so weird looking, though. Yeah, now you're like, genuine, eat something. Yeah, I mean, it looks like you can cave his chest in with like a, <laughs> yeah. a hard cough. I look, yeah, I look like I could fucking 300 kick your heart into your back. Yeah, I'll tell you what, do not put genuine on that mechanical bull, man. It's likely to yeah. I think it'll he smash goes, someone, his heart. Hey, someone get that wafer a steak or something. Jesus, I can't watch that skinny boy dance. <laughs> but again, the whole the whole concept. Also, is look, all the women just start coming and getting super into genuine fuck fucking the air. I have a question. How? Uh, and then, by the way, the black the all the country western people have come around. They're really enjoying hanging out with black people now. At the end of the video, what do you think happens if we uh, did like a video where we went into like an all black like uh, nightclub and just had a couple of cowboys come through and they start doing yeah. their thing up on the stage? The they start doing the boot scooting boogie. Guys, you might be plug in real quick. Well, Hi. I don't know about religion and I don't know. He goes, he goes, he goes I'm about oh, to blow no. your minds with a little thing called the electric slide. <laughs> he goes. He goes, I'll tell you what, I know it's all Timberlands up in here, but that doesn't mean you can't take those boots and scoot. The boot scoot. Okay, you can take my guitar. You want to see it for a minute? Oh, is he leaving? Right. Is he leaving with my guitar? Is he gonna, okay. is he coming back? You think he's going to come back? He's not going to oh. come back, is he? <laughs> oh, no, friend. I like guns as well, and it seems that you have a couple on you. That's pretty cool. <laughs>
<laughs> he goes, do you see the keys to my truck? Why, sure. It's that little butte out there with the horns on the front. Is he taking it? Yeah, take it for a test drive if you want. Uh, just bring it back with uh, as much gas or a little more than you got it with. Right? He's got, he'll come mean? back, right? He'll what come do back, you mean? yeah. He ju- what do you mean he just got out for killing his parents? <laughs> Now, when he said he wanted to fuck me, that was like figurative or something? Like the way my girl wanted to fuck Genuine when he was air humping? <laughs> I thought we could take this to the next level. Maybe By the way, the end, of the, the end of the pony video is just then black women are flirting with cowboys. Old and cowboy, cowboy women. Yeah, that's what black women want to fuck, is definite racists. <laughs> later, that ni- later that night, yeah, later that night, that black girl killed that old man with a piano wire and stole everything Jeez. in his house. He just, just fucking put his head in with a boot. Good. Trickery! Trickery! Look, they're switching hats. I mean, yeah, it's a great idea. This does not happen. It's he so... Goes, I'll tell you this right now. I got that hat for my peppy, Genuine. If you so much as drop a spill, a, spill a little thing of beer on it, I'll split you like a motherfucker. What are the lyrics to No Diggity? Oh, let's look those up. Those should happen for sure. I mean, I think right now Chili Peppers wins with the fucking dumbest lyrics. Uh, oh, you mean there. the lyrics? You know what? I like the playettes. No diggity, no doubt. Uh, the homies got RB collab create collab creations. No yeah. Holy shit! Bump like acne. Baby got him up and open all over town. Strictly biz. She don't play around. She covers much ground. Got given by the pound. Giving him eargasms with my mellow accent. Oh, dude. You know what I love about Dre? His mellow accent makes me come in my head. <laughs> dude, we always, me and my friend Sumner in college, we get high and pretend that all these R&B groups were just homeless men that they corralled into the studio and they put sexy guys to dance. They all sort of are. So when you think about it, it's like just a dude in a crusty lotto shirt and shit fucking khakis being oh. like, "Show to get down, good luck." Fucking just has white scratches all over his skin, just being crazy. Baby got you. him coming all over town. Spiders are my blood. Strictly <laughs> game, don't play around. Anybody else dry? Anybody else feel dry? I'm pretty dry. I'll kill you. I kill you, motherfucker. I can't sing, sing the song till I get my lotion. <laughs> <laughs> Baby got him up all over town. All over town. Oh, little Penny was in the video for this. Yeah, of course he was. Still moving his oh. flavor with the homies black street. Doctor Dre's wearing his Emmett Smith jersey. I just realized why I hate him so much. Um, it's not little Penny. It's little Teddy Riley. Oh, that's hilarious. He wanted his own little Penny. That's hilarious. Yeah, and you have to constantly do that. Uh, hang on. Uh, Will in Baltimore says that the Chili Peppers do that in a lot of their songs. Will, tell us another one they do it in. They really just fucking give the fuck mail up. Mail it in? <laughs> just mail it in on a verse? Maybe not Danny California, but uh, I think California Vacation, um, I think Suck My Kiss. There's been a few of them where he just... Well, Suck My Kiss, I'll give him Suck My Kiss because he was on heroin. <laughs> he's like, I've well, almost, I've almost finished this song. Anthony, it's time for dinner. Oh, I gotta rush. Shibba baba baba dee ba bang bang bing a bang a biggie bang a boom boom bone. All right, all right, coming, mom. Mom, I'll be right down. Don't let Eric touch my mashed potatoes. I'll kill you, Eric. Dude, uh, 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 f- forget lyrics. They showed us some of those lyrics last night on that Biggie Smalls documentary. And when we get in the studio together, we'll we'll break that documentary down a little bit more. I think it'll be so funny, because also did you know he had a lisp? A lisp? Yes, I didn't know he had a lisp. But what my favorite thing in, his, in the documentary is that his mom talks like a fucking witch doctor, putting some sort of a curse oh, on you. Which is all Coletta Wallace. Yeah, everything she opens. Bingo, she, her, eye, her, 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 eyes, her, eyes, her eyes will be really small. Can you see me, Dan? Her eyes will be really small, and then to get big on it, she goes. He called up and he says, "Is this Mrs. Wallace?" I said, what's wrong with my son? <laughs> he says, Miss Wallace, I'm so sorry. I said, what's happening with my son? <laughs> Every time she talks. I said, a man come out the swamp and bring the <laughs> yeah. bone of a dead man. Shataka. Everyone know that the man who come out the forest is the bit of bad man. I'll kill you all and make soup of your Oof. bones. 
Hey, y'all, don't be worried about my mom. <laughs> oh, she's just a Haitian priestess. You know what I'm saying? She'll be bringing back the dead or whatnot. I knew he was... Th- and then, by the way, now when she's like... Uh, like when she's like, now I listened and I appreciate the art. He said, they give too much fucking credit to for that. When like for what? He was telling a story, man. He was telling the story of a guy who's just going through it. And then, you know, he's ready to die. He's ready to kill himself. Man. They, 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 all that like thing. And you're like, is that what fucking I mean, one of the songs? Just, one of those songs is just about like, you know, being a true player for right. It's like, what are you talking? It's like, there's so much nobility. Like, so many of the songs are actually just like words that rhyme. Do you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, but Biggie was one of the best ones that actually put he was know, good. Like a story to a story to tell on uh, life after or uh, yeah, life after death. There's like a, gr- a lot of great ones where he just tells like good stories. Even Absolute. on Ready to Die, absolutely. But I see what you're saying where you try to you try to pontificate. When, when his mom's much. going, like, he goes, he goes, it's the art. My son was telling the stories of the street. He goes, what was your favorite part, uh, Mama Wallace? Was it the uh, uh, look so good I sucked on her daddy's dick, <laughs> or yeah. was it he like, be a real <laughs> storyteller? The way he said that the he way. Eat, he <laughs> feed it right while a gunpowder. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the most poetic lyric. Is that he, my son gave his my, boys gunpowder? My Today. son says that he's going to suck I, on her daddy's I don't, dick. I don't know if you know my son lyric, but <laughs> he's saying he used to feel on the bitch. Now he throws shield on the dick to stop him from the HIV shit. I, that was public awareness for a disease. I didn't realize my son was so famous. She's such a weirdo. She's still alive, mm. right? Where yeah, are they from? Uh, they're from bed She's from Jamaica. She's no, you Jamaica. know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, she, that, she's from Jamaica? Yeah, she's Jamaican. Is that what it is? Man, because he yeah. is black as shit. No one ever came out uh, as the father, huh, on him? Uh, I don't think so. Like, publicly? Yeah. Was there anything? I don't think so. I just heard he left when he, uh, he was two. But he didn't pop up at some point? Yeah, usually all those dads come he back. Remember and he, he, yeah. he didn't remember when he... Even, even LeBron James... <laughs> Did LeBron James's dad ever show back up? Hey, hey what's up, boy? Hey, like Bobby so Boucher's the, dad. You, so you, but you still got that jump shot I taught you, huh? He goes, <laughs> "Oh, you got that? You got your old man's post-up game." Anyways, I was wondering if I could get seventy-two million. <laughs> oh, it says it talks about uh, they figured out who killed Biggie's thing. Let's see, they went to the source. Uh, the Hollywood medium. It was somebody bad. Okay, good. Yeah, he goes. It's someone who had a gun. It was a person who wanted him dead, and it, a person who had pretty good aim. And nothing you need a good aim with that big son of a bitch. Am I right? <laughs> Sorry, it's a bad time. I try to like mix up with humor. Sorry, <laughs> I know you. I know you're still freaking out that I said Biggie's your soulmate. I was just lying. So you <laughs> <laughs> uh, me and Christine laughing in bed last night so hard at uh, we were watching the Biggie thing and we were watch- they show young little Kim a bunch. Oh, I know. Like, Gee, she's so beautiful. And, and Christine just saying like it looks like her face hurts now. Like it really just like just like that yeah. fucking painted on smile and everything. Like just he says uh, he sang something about being your soulmate. She's like, yeah! <laughs> yeah. I didn't really think it out when I got the surgery. I didn't know every time I smile, it was going to be a nine on the pain goes, scale. Oh, God, don't. That's such good news. Don't. It's... Yeah. Her, real, her realtor calls her, Kim, it's me, Marty. We sold the house. Oh, Forget God, no, this. no, 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 no. Get yeah. 40% on market. <laughs> we made you an extra $20,000. <laughs> it's just I'm really getting good news. He goes, that's right. He goes, you are going to profit $1 million. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This weekend, you can check out Big J tomorrow through Saturday at House of Comedy in the Mall of America in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And uh, go to BigJComedy.com for tickets. And, of course, follow us at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that shit. Danny Soder, Friday night, going to be at the 208 Comedy Festival in Boise, Idaho. That's Friday night, September 8th. Get your tickets at DanSoder.com. And while you're waiting to go to the show, or maybe even right after, go home and watch his new half-hour special as part of the stand-ups. Available right now on Netflix. Dan, 
I hate doing these weeks when you're away or one of us well, has to be, be not here, but I know we're right back to it on Monday, buddy. And we got a great uh, we got a great loss tapes tomorrow with uh, Shane Gillis from Philly, which actually so gives us one. which actually leads to know it's going to be a great loss tapes for next week. So, oh god, yeah. If you don't think we're not jumping back on that train, for mm, the next that tape. horse will be beaten until well past death. Bombums, bombums. Uh, Danny, I love you. Have a great rest of your you stay in in uh, Los Angeles and Boise, Idaho. Thank you, Crackle Crackle Motherfuckers. Crackle Crackle Motherfuckers.